everyone. Welcome to Express Strength. My name is Amber Langford. Thanks for joining me today. For today's Express Strength workout, we will be using some lighter dumbbells. So if you have those, I'd recommend getting them out. If you don't have any dumbbells with you, you can always, if you're at home, grab some household items like cans or something like similar to that, just for a little bit of weight and added feedback for this workout. All right. It's a quick one, so let's get started. If you have your fitness watch, go ahead and press start for the workout. And we're gonna start one of our arms with some arm swings, alternating that top arm. We're crossing and opening. As we open our arms, I want you to feel a nice squeeze with your shoulder blades in the back. One more, and now we're gonna transition into some marching, bringing that knee up to your chest, getting those arms pumping, standing up nice and tall. One more, each side, and let's go into my absolute favorite, we're gonna stand with our feet turned out, legs are wider than your shoulders. We are going to reach down to the floor. Once we've gone as far as we can, we're gonna squat and then scoop our arms up tall, reaching for that ceiling before bringing them around and repeat. We're gonna do five here. Getting as deep into that squat as you can, really exaggerate all movements here. Last one. Good. All right, last warm up exercise. We're going to kick our leg out and reach for it with that opposite hand, getting a little bit of rotation through our spine, trying to keep your kicking leg as straight as possible, getting a little bit of a stretch in our hamstrings. Last one, each side. All right. Let's get started with our strength exercises. Exercise number one, we are going to grab some light to medium weight. We're going to be doing some squats. So I want your feet facing forward. They're going to be about shoulder width apart. And we're going to hold our dumbbells up right on our shoulders. You can also do this body weight. You don't need weights for this one. But we're going to sink down to a squat. Hips go back. Knees are tracking with your feet. Back stays nice and flat the whole time, going as low as you can. We're doing 15 reps, starting in three, two, one. Let's work, sinking low, pushing up tall through those heels. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, last one, 15. Very nice, shake those legs out. Our next exercise, we're gonna be doing an overhead press. So arms are starting at shoulder height, elbows are slightly in front of your body. We're gonna press directly overhead so we're in a straight line and then come in right back down. I'm using the same weight. If you need to go a little bit lighter or a little bit heavier, you can. We're doing 15 reps, starting in three, two, one. Let's work, press it up tall and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, last one, 15, and relax. All right, we are going to combine those first two exercises. So what that looks like is we're gonna have our arms up like we had in our squat. We are going to go into a squat. Once we come up tall, we're gonna press our arms overhead, bringing them down, 
Immediately going back into that squat. All right. Same form here. We're just combining two moves. 15 reps of this one as well. Same thing if you need to go down and wait or up. Go ahead and grab those now. We're starting in three, two, one. Let's work. Sinking low into our squat. Pressing up tall overhead. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're over halfway now. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, two more. 14, last one, big push up and done. Good job, take your breather while I demonstrate the next exercise. Our next exercise, we're doing a deadlift. For our deadlift, we're gonna take our weights and put them right in front of our body. Shoulders are pulling down and away from our ears. We're gonna send our hips back, reaching those weights to about mid shin and now pushing down through our heels standing up nice and tall. Throughout this whole exercise, your back stays nice and flat and your knees never drift past those ankles. So the main goal is to bend at your waist here. We're doing 15 reps, starting in three, two, one. Let's work. Hips back, shoulder blades are squeezed together. Your chest is the last thing to come upright. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, two more, 14, and 15. Good job. Shake it out. We are going to move on and we're going to do some arms now. For our arms, same thing, keeping the same weight. You may go a little bit lighter for this one. So what we're going to do is same starting position with our hands right in front of our thighs. We're going to skim our weights up our body now, driving our elbows up and out. Our elbows are not going past shoulder height. The weights kind of end around your ribcage and then come in right back down. Notice how close I'm keeping those weights to my body. We are going to do 15 reps here as well, starting in three, two, one. Let's work. Arms out, elbows high. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, two more, fourteen, and fifteen. Good work. <laughs> Shake those arms out. I'm sure you've caught on by now, but we are gonna combine those two exercises. So we're combining our deadlift with our upright row. Same form, the whole thing, but we're combining two exercises. So what this is gonna look like is we're gonna reach our hands down first, but it goes back, back is flat, coming up, adding that upright row once we're standing tall. Sink in low, coming up, and row. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Let's work, skim those weights down. Come up quick, and row. That's one, two, doing 15, three, four, five, Six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, almost there, eleven, twelve, thirteen, two more, fourteen, last one, and fifteen. Good job. Go ahead and set your weight down for this last little combo. We're going to be doing some core, so we will not need any weights for this one. So go ahead and have a seat. We're going to be laying back on our mat. Back is going to be flat into the ground for all of these exercises. We're going to start with our legs floating up, legs together. We're gonna have our knees bent in a 90 degree angle. Hands are gonna be pointed straight up to the ceiling. We're gonna start easy and all we're doing is holding this position, reaching back, tapping one hand, coming up and switching sides. We are going to do eight to each side. Main thing is keeping that back pressing into the ground. Starting in three, two, one, let's work. Reach in, back, and switch. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one, each side. That's eight, good. You guys go ahead and relax for a second. I'm gonna demonstrate the next exercise. Same starting position, but this time we're moving our legs. We're going to extend one leg out, reaching for the ground, coming up and switching. Alternating sides, still keeping that back pressed into the ground. If that bothers your hip flexor, you can keep your leg bent and just tap each foot to the ground like so. Your choice, just meet me where you're at. I'm gonna extend my legs all the way out. Starting in three, two, one, let's work. Arms stay pointed up to the ceiling the whole time. That's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, last one, each side, and eight. Woo, good job. Bring your feet down and gently rock your knees side to side. Give you a little bit more of a breather this time because you guessed it. We are going to combine those two exercises. So now we're gonna keep our back pressing flat into the ground. But this time, we're going to extend opposite arm, opposite leg, coming up and switching sides. So if my right arm is going down, then my left leg is also extending and then alternate. Same thing here. If you need to, go ahead and keep your leg bent and just tap your foot. Your choice. We're doing eight each side, starting in three, two, one, let's work. Reach it out and up. That's one. Keep breathing. Two. Three. Four. We're halfway. Five. Six, seven, last one, each side. Woo, good job. Set those feet down. We're gonna roll over to our stomach and stretch out our core really quick. So I want you to put your hands under your shoulders, lengthen that spine, pressing up with your arms. Hips are staying flat on the ground. If you need to, Go ahead and rest right on your elbows. 
We're still just lengthening out and breathing, letting those abdominals stretch out after we just work them. One more deep breath here. Good. Go ahead and lift up to your hands and knees. I want to stretch out the back of our legs a little bit. So we're going to tuck our toes under, straightening those legs. We're going into down dog. I want you to actively press your heels into the floor, keeping those knees nice and straight. Take deep breaths. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Bend your right knee for me, keeping that left leg straight. Be a little bit more focused on that left side. And switch, bending left knee, straightening that right leg out. Good. Go ahead and straighten both legs. Walk your feet up and slowly come on up to a stand. Roll those shoulders out. Give yourself a pat on the back. Thank you all for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed this quick workout. It was our express strength. I'm Amber and I hope to see you all next week. Have a great day.